Hi everybody, we're here with Bazooka, professional dancer, actress, model. You might have seen her in the latest uh, New Edition biopic on BET. She is a um, professional dancer out here in Los Angeles and we're gonna interview her today. So let's get right into it. Why did you choose the moniker, the stage name Bazooka? What's the origin of that? Um, so I've always been a dancer and uh, I had tons of dancer friends and they always kind of told me I had high energy and uh, just a big personality when I'm dancing. So I, I came across Bazooka as a, a good name to choose for myself because um, I kind of just wanted to bring that out there, uh, just being big and bold and expressive with my dance. So that's kind of how I came up with that name. That's that's amazing. Like, and it fits. Like, we've seen you dance, and you're just like a dynamo out there, like a bazooka. So that's amazing. So on your Instagram, we've noticed that you you post your accomplishments, the gigs you get, and sometimes you talk about the gigs you don't get as far as acting and modeling. Why do you feel the need to share your entire journey? Uh, I feel that it's important for people to see uh, the ups and downs when it comes to the entertainment because um, it's not going to be um, success uh, all year round. Um, you're going to go to auditions and not make all of them or you're going to um, you know, mess up on stage or things like that. Um, and I try to tell people uh, kind of like how my success goes is that I'm not more successful than anyone. I've just failed more than other people have. And, and that's the, the truest statement I can say. Um, you know, out of every accomplishment I've had, I've had 20 failures. Um, but you can't let that get to you. You just have to keep pushing. Do you feel like your success drives you or your previous failures drive you or your mixture of both? combined with your passion where, where does that where does that inner drive get in you know, like where do you get it from when you get like tired at probably uh doing a an acting gig or when you're dancing where does that passion lie um it, it uh good question um it's hard to to keep pushing but uh if you really love what you do and you know you were meant to do it you're gonna keep going. And you're gonna keep going no matter if everyone in the world is against you. Um, you know, as long as you believe in you, I guess uh, that's what keeps pushing me. So you branched out into modeling and acting. Tell us about that. Tell us about when you made the transition or when that passion came about to do all three acting, modeling, and dancing. Um, so I originally moved here purely for dance. And choreography, um, but I've been starting to branch out into modeling and acting, and um, I love it. I, I, it's another form of entertainment, it's another form of expression, and it comes naturally to me, just like how dance did. So um, they're all starting to flow together, and um, yeah, I'm going to continue with modeling and with acting, and um, they're my newest loves. So do you feel dancing is an art form? I've had this discussion with previous actors and dancers and I've gotten different answers, honestly, I have. So I wanted to ask you if, it, if you feel it is an art form, how is it an art form to you? Dance is definitely an art form to me. Um, it's an art form to me because it's a form of expression. Um, it's a way of communicating without using words and using solely your body. And um, that's art to me. 